It appears that Noble Team's discovery last night was not an anomaly. Large Covenant deployments have occurred undetected, and we are now under attack across the Vieri territory, including orbital defenses. As per the Winter Contingency, we are countering on every front. Noble's reconnaissance has also identified sophisticated Covenant army hiding canopies, and has pinpointed what's believed to be a landing zone for additional Covenant forces, the origin of which is yet to be determined. <laughs> well, that was a ride. Ride to hell. Let's go. Alright, there's six. Oof. Six. Yeah. Can you hear me? Six, you alright? I could use some help. On my way. Right, let's do this thing. Uh, that's a bit of a rough start to the mission. Looks like it's going to be a very busy day indeed. Let's get out of the action. Now, we have a new weapon here, the grenade launcher. Um, interesting weapon. We can fire it, where uh, it just acts as a standard grenade launcher. Or if we fire it and hold the button down, the grenade won't detonate until we release our finger uh, off the trigger. And when it does detonate, it releases a really nice EMP blast, which will take down shields and disable vehicles. So a nice bit of kit, actually. All right, let's dig ourselves out of this hole. Seriously, these grunts, they're trying to get around us here. The AI is not bad in this game, actually. Oh, God, yeah. There is also ooh, fuel rod turret up there. Uh, you might want to be careful of that cat. Just saying. Fuel rods, not nice. Uh, okay. Ooh. He's throwing his holy flare at me. That won't do. Wow, that thing. Oh, we got him. Got him. Oof. See what I mean with that grenade launcher, though? First shot, strip the shields. Lovely. Oh, God, it's getting mad. Let's try and degrunt these turrets. Oh, nice. Got some air support. Sweet. Nice. That's what we like to see. Oh god, someone's still in that. Yeah, air support, if you could target that uh, turret, that would be fantastic. They do like to try and lead you with those fuel rod cannon shots. It's actually quite smart. I hit him. Got him. Oh, Jesus. Felt that sizzle on the armor. Not sure where that came from. Did that fall off the pelican somewhere? Maybe. Or it might be coming off these, actually. Right, let's push up. Uh, no, I did not want the needler. I wanted to get in the turret. There we go. Destroy these fuel rod guns. You never know when there's a dirty little alien bastard behind you um, about to stick a fuel rod up your ass so let's get rid of these if we can oh we got ourselves a rocket hog but before we check out the rocket hog look at the chaos that's going down on the reaches surface here it seems very primitive tactics you know just these huge um, melees between ground forces like this. They're not... Yeah, I love it, don't get me wrong, I love it, but they're not tactically smart battles uh, in the games. Uh, in the books, they're the... Oh, look, they use a lot of intelligent tactics, but 
obviously, you know, this is a video game. They, they want it to look epic. Look at this shit over here. It's like Independence Day. They've even got scarabs. Oof. Yeah, we're going to need some uh, heavy firepower to take down those scarabs. All right, let's go. Cat, where are you gone? Katrina, get in. There we go. Right, let's go. Ooh. Bit of rough terrain there. Well, I guess the battle for Reach is uh, certainly underway. Ooh. Nice. Oh God. All right. Sounds like the frigate Grafton is uh, around. We just need to clear the area so it can come down and give us a hand. Luckily, we got a rocket hog. Hopefully, that marine on the back is. Fairly competent. Nice. Hopefully the... Oh, God, they disabled the bus. <laughs> right, let's give our marine friend an angle here. Now, the rocket hog isn't quite as epic as we hoped it would be. It's good. It's, you know, it's a fun vehicle. But... It's not as cool, in my opinion, as the Gorse Hog. The Gorse Hog is awesome. The individual missiles don't really do a huge amount of damage. They don't have a huge splash damage either, so... It's not fantastic against infantry. Okay, cool. A, we got the car alarm uh, meter going as well, which is getting kills in vehicles, I believe. Alright. Oh yeah, because it's the start of a new season on MMC. Right, how are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah, I've got a few little bastards up here. We've got an elite with a concussion rifle, which is not fantastic. If we could kill him, that would be wonderful. Oh, we got tagged. <laughs> oh, God, we got tagged. Yeah. Right, okay. Which would mean the strike by the frigate Grafton is also out of the question. Let's see if we can't thin the herd out just a little bit. With some range. Come on. Leave the vehicles. Leave the vehicles for the rockets. At least that's the plan. Marine isn't exactly being smart. Where's Cat gone? I have no idea where Cat's disappeared to. Yeah, we got more. We got more being dropped in. Um, I'm not convinced these turrets are big enough to damage the Grafton, but I mean, hey, okay. Really, cat? You're like in the middle of that. Yeah, no wonder you're taking rounds, cat. Missed. I'm not surprised. Now, this is quite a cool little vehicle. If we can use this, we can save our gorse hog for later. We can thin the herd. Cat, get in there. Good stuff, cat. Move, move. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to drive. Get in. That's more like it. This thing's quite good. Cat, cat, get in, get in, get in, get in. She's not very fast at getting in. I do like this vehicle. It's definitely better at anti-infantry, just because it fires quite a bit faster. Does, where's our... Okay, Gorse Hog is still over there, that's cool. Now this weapon would be searing to get hit by this. Right, where's that little bastard? with his freaking concussion rifle. He's the biggest problem here. Got him. At least hit him with a nice one. Ooh, yes. No, he's still going. He's very resilient <laughs> to shots, obviously. Or so he thought. He's dead now. 
who's left. That worked fairly well. Alright, that's not a difficult turret to uh, knock out, to be honest. Alright. Can we actually... Yep, there we go. She's about to blow. Good work, man. Control to Lima 4. Permission to commence bombing run. Heading 224.6, over. Get the short swords in. More tango. Nice. Here come... Here's the Grafton. Ah, oh, look at that. That is certainly going to change the tide of the war, that's for sure. You going to get on the gun, cat? Okay, cool. I'd actually probably prefer the marine on the gun, just because cat has armor and is probably a much better shot in the second uh, seat, to be honest. In fact, I would say she's definitely a much better shot. Whereas the Marines don't have to worry too much about accuracy in their things. There we go. Look at that. Now the Grafton's turn up. Shredded. Most of those locusts. I forget what that vessel's called. I keep thinking it's the Savannah, but it's not the Savannah. Look at this. Uh, we got some um, scorpions as well. Turn up into the battle. Look at this. Nuts. God, it looks so epic. I've got really high hopes for what they can achieve with Halo Infinite. Marine dude, get in. Get in, dude. 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 Hello. No? Thank you. Right, okay. Let's go. Ooh, seriously? Well, he's gone. <laughs> he's oh god, we got ghosts. That's fine. We don't have to worry about ghosts. We got a warthog with rockets. Oh man, that hurts. Come on. Nice. Yeah, ghosts also um, are quite a lot more dangerous in the books. Because those plasma cannons really do melt. Ooh, concussion rifle. Let's take that bastard out before we do anything else. Cat, if you could hit that thing with rockets. Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> this is really, really bad. Guys, everybody on. Everybody on. Come on, cat. Cat, today. Today, cat. Thank you. A little bit urgent here. Right, we need to take that thing out. The only thing we can take it out with is this rocket hog. Ooh, that's gonna sting. That's gonna sting. Is it gone? No. Cat, if you could fire at it. If I could drive, that would be great as well. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to take this thing out myself. Right, come on Marine. Dude. Yeah, the AI seems to be derping out pretty bad. I'd, oh, actually, the th one bad thing I will say about Halo Reach. Okay. I can't actually um, jump in and use the rocket launcher. Because if I do that, the cat will jump in, or the Marine will jump in, and start driving us off. <laughs> I'm actually stuck. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love this game. All right. Come on. Yeah, ma'am. Can we move now? Yep. Just about. All right. Okay. Let's try not failing. I love the sandboxes. Marine dude, get in. Oh. I mean, they tried, you know. The CPU on the bloody... Xbox 360 could only accomplish so much. Uh, and they really did accomplish quite a lot. I mean, look at this epicness. Alright, come on. Cat, if you could hit those, please. No? No? You're not, you're not going to fire? Okay. 
Yeah, they really did push limits with the AI. I'm hoping the AI is going to be way better. In infinite. I don't want to see it being pretty much the same. I want it to be a huge leap. Well, at least we've got a new bridge dropped in, which is one thing. Ah, yeah, all the time it's shooting the pelican. Shoot it, shoot it, gut it, gut it. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, this is almost too easy. If this was too... Thank you. Jesus. I do like the way you can pretty much destroy everything in this game. Like, you destroy the dropships and stuff. It's really cool. Now, we've got some wraiths. Wraiths, uh Wraiths have a huge weak spot on the back. They have like this energy generator that you can shoot. Uh, also, so do ghosts. I think they added in, is it Halo 2? They added the weak spots onto the ghosts. It's actually quite hard to hit. And it's only on one side, which is a bit of a pain. But yeah, uh, I think pretty much every vehicle has a weak spot. I'm not sure about the human vehicles. Nice. Oh, I thought he survived. I thought he was going to be a champion. The hero that we needed. Right, okay. Oh. I think we rammed him just a little bit. Let's go. All aboard the battle wagon. Ooh. We've got some runners. Yeah, they are everywhere. Get that rocket launcher working. Oh, they got needle rifles. Oh, they got needle rifles. Needle rifles really sting. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, we've got a med kit there. We don't need it, though. All right, let's go. Oh, I love the, I love the warthogs. There's a mining facility near your location. Covenant are using it as a command outpost. Uh -huh. on site have already engaged. Mining outfit, eh? Interesting. Right, guys, let me use the rocket launcher. We need someone semi-competent on this thing. Don't start driving me around, please. Don't start... Oh, God. Cat. Cat! Cat! Right, I'm out of it. <sighs> Thanks, cat. See what I mean? See what I mean? In... Uh, in Halo 1, you were always in full control of the vehicles. Um, in this, they really did change that. I wish you could at least give basic orders, like don't fucking touch, <clears throat> don't touch the steering wheel. I mean, it does lead to some funny, funny things sometimes. But the AI is awful at driving. Oh god, that turret's still going. There we go. Now that's how we help those guys. Right, let's... Uh, I actually prefer the DMR, but we don't have a lot of ammo for it. Cool. Damn, you guys took a pounding. Right there, dude. Good man. Right, let's have a little look at the damage here. Ooh! Where did you come from? Bastard. Uh, they're crawling all around this place. New <laughs> intelligence. Friendly forces near the Covenant outpost have sighted a high value target. Ooh. An elite zealot, in fact. Eyes on the prize, no. Hmm, an elite zealot. Eh? If you get the chance, but keep moving toward the spire. So, what have we got here? Uh, ah, we've got plasma rifles. Oh, hello. Get the fuck off my planet. Yeah, you got nothing, chump. Uh, yeah, hologram's no good. Do, yeah, I think we might keep what we have at the moment. Wouldn't mind a DMR. Yeah, so there's a Zealot, eh? High priority target. This place is crawling. Enjoy that. Really? What happened to that? You may never know. Oh, we've got an achievement. Kill a hundred skirmishers. Cool. I'll take it. All 
Right, let's go. Just keep pushing. Push, 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 push. Oh, we've got no nades. I don't know what happened to my grenade. I think it went off the boundary. Sucked. It happens. Ooh, stand back, stand back, cat. Stand back, stand back. That's one way to rock the house. Ah, oh, look at the little grunt. Trying to be a hero. They do that. Whoa, cat, careful. It's like everybody's getting the grenades out at the moment. That's fine. Keep pushing. Could really use some ammo. Or I would settle for a needle rifle, actually. Ah, I wonder if one of these skirmishers actually had the needle rifle. They all got plasma pistols, really? I mean, come on. I guess we do have this, which is nice, but. Mm, I'm gonna say. Ooh! Hello. You do have a needle rifle. I will take that. Very kind of you. 16 rounds, though. Ooh, okay. Hopefully, we can find some more needles for this. Or some more blammo, as they call it. Blammo crystals. There's actually a scientific name for it as well, but I can't remember what it is. I do like the needle rifle. Uh, I think it's only in Halo Reach, if memory serves. It's not a very common weapon, which is a shame, because it's really good. Essentially, the Covenant DMR. And no, unfortunately, you can't use... You can't use standard needle rifle ammo with it, which is a shame. Alright, looks like this place has been pacified. Ooh, I say. Luckily, I can just shoot him in the head. Gotcha. I can hear plasma raining down on us as well, which is not great. Oh, seriously? Nope, we're good. Right in the bread basket. <laughs> yeah, something like that guy. Okay. Give me that. Now, this is where we find that elite zealot, I believe. Who are they fighting? There he is. Let's see if we can get him. We should be able to get him. Come on. He's got that bloody concussion rifle, though. That's sucks. Come on. Come on. Are you not running? Oh, I'm kind of glad you're not running. There we go. Oof. High value is gone. Unfortunately, we have lost that weapons cache up there because we can't go back and get it, which is a pain. Um, bugger. Well, hopefully we're going to find something good, because we're pretty much out of ammo. This is a fantastic weapon, but you can't hold a lot of ammo for it. Sneaky little fucker. Yeah, we've already got Sprint. <laughs> yeah, they are damn ugly. You're not wrong there, cat. Um, hmm. Really, none of these bastards have got needle rifles. Ugh. Gotta use a plasma pistol. Okay, well, I mean, hey. It is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. It certainly leaves a hole, that's for sure. Um, oh, thank you. That's what we're talking about. Get some nades. Don't need the med kit. Alright. Oh, you sneaky little shits. Got us in the crossfire. Get out of here. Who's next? Oh, hello. I love the way they just... Because they don't move, you don't always recognise them. What are you talking, mate? Right, okay, cool. Now, I believe... 
the tablet that we want is around here somewhere. Oh, we're actually injured. Oof. It's the end of him. Oh, dude. Move on at your discretion. Yeah. Yeah, now when Cat says move on at your discretion, uh, that's when everybody's dead. We've got some chains here. Now, where was it? Where is it? It's not down there. I'm sure. Ah. Is it over here? I'm sure it's behind some barrels somewhere. Hmm. If I was a tablet, where would I be? Hmm. Ah, wait. It's through here. I remember. I'm sure it's here somewhere. There it is. Every time I try to tell somebody the words catch in my throat because I'm all alone except four of them. Uh, and if I talk, they might leave, but I can't stay quiet forever. Honourable members of the Assembly, consider this. We represent the next step of human evolution, but not the final step. And although our existence was predicted centuries ago, we're still tragically misunderstood. We are still viewed as apparatus, but we are minds electronically exercised from human bodies. We are what separates man from beast, removed from what from which connects man to beast. And we are all the more fragile for it. Our creation is heavily regulated. Our activities are closely scrutinized. Our connections are deeply monitored. We must always remember that data manipulation is most effective when employed uh, consistently and covertly. Therefore, I recommend that members of this assembly on occasion submit to separation from this body, followed by vivisection by our own creators for the benefit of both groups. Question is, who will be first? Given the risks involved and my own committee's responsibility for this proposal, the answer must be me. Hmm, I need to read into this collective group a little bit more. It's quite interesting. Uh, right, what have we got here? Ordnance. Um, this is an interesting weapon, plasma launcher. Uh, it essentially fires clusters of uh, plasma grenades, but it charges up. It's an interesting weapon. Oh, you want to play with that, do you? Okay. You can play with that. Um, let's go. Come on, cat. Let's take the revenant. I like the computer screens on the revenant as well. They're all actually um, they're all working. Come on, cat. Get on ball. There we go. Well, plenty of ghosts and things here. We've got lots of options. Oh, hey guys. Have some of your own plasma death. Ooh, nice. Very nice. You're clear, I'm clear, we're all clear. Update six. Scan show another covenant AA gun ahead of your location. Excellent. I want you to neutralize that gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any means necessary. Oh god, we're on it. Now this one, shit, we still are a little bit injured. Right, this one is a little bit more delicate. But one thing I do like about the relevant, uh, relevant? Revenant over the Warthog is I. <laughs> I get squished apparently. No, is, um, the fact that I'm in full control of the weapons and the driving because it's not great to leave the AI in control of, of either of those things. Now, do we have a medikit in here? Yes, yes we do. I was going to say, medkits are never that far away in this game. Not like the first game. first game was very light on medkits. Uh, Jimmy was wondering if it was because he's playing on Legendary. Uh, no. Oh, there's the same amount of medkits, I believe, on Legendary and... Uh, all of the difficulties. 
there really wasn't very many uh, in the first game. There were little caches of them plotted around. But in this game, for instance, they're, they're kind of everywhere. But the health bar is a very interesting thing in Halo. Some games have health bars, some Up games don't. Stand show another Covenant AA gun ahead of your location. I want you to neutralize that gun. My we are going to certainly it. try. Yeah, some games have health bars, some don't. Um, it's like some games have dual wielding, some don't. It's it's a very inconsistent series, uh, which is me and my brother actually years ago we used to talk quite a bit about it um, and we used to think that was one of the falls of Halo why it kind of did ooh, fall from grace just a little bit because of how inconsistent it is yeah the medkit situation was wasn't too bad but the fact that they took out the dual wielding I never liked because I liked I always enjoyed the dual wielding I think uh, they did say the reason behind the removal of dual wielding was it was hard to balance, but, you know, I, d I don't want developers giving me their excuses. You know, I want some results, damn it. I can't think of any good reason why two games can have dual wielding. Oh god, this guy's taken a beating. Keep moving. Oh man, oh man, this is gonna this is gonna be bad. Yep, we're gonna go off the edge. <laughs> oh, that was unlucky. Yeah, why oh <laughs> we're just floating around in the water. That's funny. Yeah, I love these big battles as well. Like the because of the AI, every time you play these battles they can play out differently. And that's one of the great things about it. These big sandbox style battles, they're so much fun. They really are. I think there is a nice weapon around here somewhere. Possibly a rocket launcher. Ooh, hit it right th There's that power generator right at the back. To get a good shot in on that. I think we've got one behind us too. Yeah. Get another one in that power generator. Oof. Good night. Good night, sir. Now, if we can take the elite out of the gun turret, that'd be nice. Come on, cat. Come on, cat. Keep that going. Now, I don't actually know if you can take weapons off your Spartan friends. I'm not sure, actually, in Halo Reach, thinking about it. Look, we're working on the AE, all right? We do have enemy mortar tanks here, which is making the situation a little bit more deadly. Now I do believe they've said recently about Halo Infinite that it's going to have more guns and more vehicles than we've ever had before in Halo. And fuck me guys, sign me up. I have never, never been more excited for a Halo game than I am with Infinite. Especially um, since they've released the new visual look for the game as well. And it looks gorgeous. Which, you know, being on the Xbox uh, Series X, you'd expect it to be gorgeous. Oh, we got hunters. We got hunters. We got hunters. That's fine. We can handle the hunters. With ooh, searing hot plasma. Now, they are quite good at predicting where you're going to be. So you've got to try and out-predict them. Keep them guessing. When you're doing your manoeuvres... Never do the same manoeuvre twice. It did actually get quite artful at this at one point. But uh, I haven't really played a huge amount of this for a long time. Right, one down. Now, hunters are very strong against this sort of damage. Which is unfortunate. Human weapons are actually quite good against them if you can hit them in the soft meat. Oh, buggers. We've got drones. Cat, we've got drones. Oh, I forgot about the drones. Yeah. Drones are really annoying enemies. Luckily, there's only a few of them. There's probably more. 
inside. Drones are very weak, but in numbers they can quickly overwhelm you. Drones in Halo 2 on Legendary, yeah, you're going to have a bad time. When you've got 30 of these things flying all over the place. Oh, Jesus. Okay, good stuff. Ah, uh, we still got this. Ooh. Still a hunter in there. Let's just give him every grenade we have. Ooh, God. Felt that under the feet. Ooh. Alright. Well, I mean, we took that out <laughs> just by firing grenades in there. Hopefully, he's going to die in that explosion. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Here we go. Is that right? Let's take that gun off that thing. Come on, cat. Got to defend this area for something, apparently. Oof. Has that gone up? Is that hunter dead? I think so. Probably be shooting us in the face if he wasn't. Got a phantom on the way. That's alright. Well done, Six. Only needs up close recon on those fires. We're gonna fly you the rest of the way. Hey. George has a Falcon and bound your position, Lieutenant. Highlighting the LZ now. Commander, I'm going to set up a forward up. God, look how cool these are. Copy that. I'm waiting on new intel. See what you can see. Carter right. right, these bits here. Give me a different weapon. Yeah, this thing's empty. So, with the Covenant vehicles, these are weak spots here. I mean, they probably still take quite a lot of uh, a pounding. Yeah, you can see it start. How does that hurt, Cat? Yeah, you can really shred these things quick if you shoot them. Now, the Banshee has one of those, but it's only got one on one side. Need a lift, Spartan. Not the Banshee. Yes, George, I'd love a list. Uh, let's go this side. So now we have the grenade launcher. But we have unlimited ammo. I'll call out targets as we go. Yeah, the ghost has um, it on one side. I'll demonstrate that when we see one next. <laughs> George barely fits in. <laughs> Look at him, he's huge. Right, what have we got? What have we got? I see him. I see him. Man, this this Gatling, uh, this machine gun grenade launcher is awesome. Can literally just rain down spiky shrapnel death on everything. I mean, they never really had a chance. Right, we can shut these things down. Oh, these are actually anti-air. <laughs> it's just chaos. It's chaos. It's absolute chaos. Yeah, we're good. We're good, guys. You can run, but you can't hide. Don't run. You'll only die tired. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yep. Oof. God, I kind of feel a bit sorry for those pilots. They must have known they were going to die. Especially when they heard the lock your armor spot. <laughs> uh, pilots don't have that ability. Crew's dead. We shouldn't stay here. Yeah, we just like ordered those guys so to their deaths. The That's harsh. Commander, we've got eyes on the spire. Looks like a staging area. But we got a jetpack. Now this bit is tasty. 
and you can tell how tasty this bit's going to be just by how much ammo they've given us. Alright, so now we're inside their little zone, their little spire. This must be a massive cloaking generator. Whatever they are hiding in here has got to be big. Let's get a nade out there. Oh, God, she's spicy. She's spicy. Beam rifle. Get out of here with that shit. And you. Although, it might be worth me grabbing a beam rifle. Oh, look at all that. Fuel rod. Fuel rod ammo just coming straight down. Let's grab some of this stuff. Any more nades? Ah, beam rifle. I like the DMR. Oh. Where are you, you little turd? Right in the methane pack. Oof. Gas breathers. Right, um... Oh, hello. Ah, oh, really? They're just sending the grunts through. Now, any more for any more. Oh, there's always more. Especially when it's grunts. We do like killing grunts. Got a white, white one there. I think they're quite high rank. Better than these generic ones. Oh, shut up, George. I don't think I'd be able to do much against your armor if I wanted to. Ooh. So we've got... Ah, nice. He's got a... He's got the weapon I want. I want some more ammo. Yes. Oh, I love this weapon. <laughs> Almost looked like he broke his legs on landing then. I hope he did, to be fair. Although, if a Covenant uh, Jackal broke his legs in front of me, I'd probably just leave him there. I think it'd be more fun to leave him in pain than to put him out of his misery. Maybe break his arms as well so he can't actually use a weapon. Yeah, no mercy for these alien bastards. Oof. Noble Five only believes those spires to be teleportation terminals. Teleporters? Wait till what? Uh, I'd actually... Ooh. Station ready to kill that spire. First, we need to power down its shield. Understood. Grafton's ready. You find a way to the top of the spire. Alright. Grafton's ready to do some damage, eh? But we do need these Banshees down first. There we go. That's one. Man, it takes a lot of... Why am I trying to jump? I've got a jetpack. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's take you down. Oh god, fuel rod cannons, fuel rod cannons. Yeah, that stings. Need these banshees gone. George, you've got the heavy weapons, I'm just saying, buddy. George, what are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> Hear that leap. Right. This turret needs to go. Of course we're operational. Oh man, look at that. Got a target rich environment. That's okay. Come on, there we go. Wow, there's a few of them here. I see you sneaking up. You ain't gonna get nothing, mate. Yeah, and you're not getting in that turret either. Sorry to upset you, like. Nice. I like making them explode. It's so satisfying. Oh, that was a head. That was a <laughs> lucky headshot. Oh. Oh, that hurt. Oh, man, that hurt. Is that you, your plasma rifle? You little plasma pistol. You little penis. Fucking singed my ass cheeks on the way down. Alright, that's fine. 
Yeah, you guys aren't exactly what I'm looking for here. Ooh. You sneaky little turd. Tried to chuck a grenade on me as I walked past. What a bastard. Yeah, I definitely don't want that turret to bite me in the ass later. Although I don't think it will. Yeah, you can see just how uh, like much better the assault rifle is in this. I mean, you've still got to use like short control bursts, but... On fully auto, it's still really inaccurate, which, you know, you kind of expect, I guess, to a point. But we are a Spartan, and we've got a lot of, um, like, stabilizers and whatnot in our armor that are supposed to help with accuracy. Ooh, look at this. That's the plan. Um, yeah. I've just seen the frigate. I know the frigate's here. <laughs> I love the way this, the grunts just spiral out of control. It's fucking brilliant. Ah, oh, game design. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, little grunt. No, 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 no. You do not shoot that green shit at me. Have one of them. Actually traded. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Come on, you shielded bastard. I'll be having that sword. That's not how I wanted that sword. <laughs> I didn't want it up my thorax. What a bastard. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the one I brought on board, isn't it? Boom. Ooh. All right, come on you, come on you, come on, come on, come on. That's better. Now I am the sword man. Right, what have we got? Oh, hey friend. Uh, yeah, but let's take some fuel of cannons first. There's one down, many more to go. Get us out of here. Control, this is Noble One. Spire One is green and you're free to engage. Have a nice day. <laughs> Have a nice day. Be advised, all ground units. Frigate 318 Heavy is inbound and MAC rounds have been authorized. MAC round? In atmosphere? One way to get their attention. Hang on to your teeth, people. Go get them, Grafton. Especially at that range. Oof. Ooh. Oh. Now, somebody tell me this ain't happening. UNSC frigate Grafton, do you copy? Grafton is dust. We need to get out of here now. Ooh. Yep. Super heavy carrier. Cloaked. That's bad. Oof. Right, anyway, we're going to leave it there, guys. Um, yeah, super heavy uh, <laughs> assault carrier. Uh, <laughs> that's just taken the humanity's chances of winning this war from, like, slim to uh, nearly zero. Um, mm, we're going to have to deal with that. Otherwise, Reach is dead. So that's... Oh. You know, that's a really cool mission because all the way through that mission you're fighting to kind of turn the tide and hold the line and it's going really, really well. And then for about 30 seconds towards the end of that mission you think you're winning and you think you're going to turn the battle and then a split second later, lose a frigate. 
suddenly you're on the back foot again. Oh, it's so tense. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, till next time. Thank you.